Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the G290 Fat Mark II guitar from Quart. Always listening to their user base, Quart came from their award-winning G290 Fat guitar, thinking we could do better. And uh, you know what? They have. Now, before we go any further, you can consider this a sponsored video as Court has asked me to show you the G290 Fat Mark II guitar. However, all thoughts and opinions are indeed mine. Now, the original G290 Fat guitar was a very, very awesome guitar, a very renowned guitar, an award-winning guitar. Yeah, they won awards for that guitar, but they still had some improvements to make. They were getting a lot of feedback from users and they wanted to fine tune that guitar just a little bit. Enter the G290 Fat Mark II. Now, what are the differences between this and the previous model? Now with these pickups comes some pretty cool switching options with the five-way selector switch. In positions two and four, you get the inner and outer coils of the humbuckers. However, you get single coil tones, but there is no hum. Now, usually on other guitars and other makes and models, there is hum when you do those positions. However, with this, nope, no hum. Now, the second thing that has been switched out uh, from the original G290 is this is no longer an ash body, but an alder body, which Court felt was going to be a little bit more balanced with the maple top. I would have to agree. Uh, this is just a very good combination of woods, snappy, strong, lots of bite and attack, but uh, it's not overly bright. It's just a really, really great sounding guitar. Now, the third thing that has been changed is the addition of the Tusk Black Nut, which is an amazing nut. I have these in most of my guitars. I like to tour with them. They require no lubrication, graphite. This is just a pretty much an industry standard and should be standard on all guitars. The fourth thing that has been changed from the original 290 Fat uh, guitar is the addition of Lumen Lay side markers. I love these markers. And I also think that these should be stock on every single guitar that comes out. Uh, if you're playing a dark stage or a dark club or anything like that, the Lumen Lay's got you covered. They will glow in the dark. Just charge them up with your phone light or a flashlight and you are good to go.
And the last thing that has been changed from the original G290 is the addition of a roasted maple neck. This is going to give you extreme tuning stability, a great look. I mean, aesthetically, the roasted maple is just the way to go, in my opinion. And uh, you're just gonna get a really nice feeling and great sounding guitar with this roasted maple neck. It's just, mm, feels good. Now, as far as the neck shape, this is a compound radius neck and it has a combination of a C and V shape, which I don't know if I really agree or, or really feel or notice the V shape as much as I do the C shape. This is an extremely comfortable neck for me to play. Um, it's not super thin. It's also not super fat. It's just a real middle of the road feeling neck that is really comfortable doing fast upper neck stuff as well as the uh, down near the nut chuggy rhythm stuff as well. And lastly, in addition to the locking tuners, there is a stainless steel bridge with stainless steel saddles and bridge posts that come stock with this guitar. This is a killer, killer ax, and this is really just meant to do it all, and it does indeed do it all. I found this guitar to be very stable. Uh, it just, it just sounds great. I don't know, I don't know what else to say about this guitar. It's very comfortable. The neck heel is nice and slim and comfortable. This is a great sounding guitar. And uh, yeah, kudos to Court for uh, continuing to kind of improve their product line, not just kind of resting on what they have. Mad respect to Court. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more information about all things Court guitars. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.